Oh, so you did have another TV. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Just ignore the guy with the camera. Hi. Hi, camera. He hears from the state. He's in North Carolina. Did you plug in? How are you doing? I'm trying to get plugged in with the Thirty feet tall painting, and two guys at the bottom saying, "Yeah, I know he's not very good, but he's the only one tall enough for the job." <laughs> <laughs> That's <was> good. <laughs> First annual uh, Moose Lodge banquet. Am I at the wrong place? <laughs> so, um, you know, it's funny. Seth is here. Uh, he's Debbie's dad, and Debbie's family has a wonderful family reunion every year, and they all live kind of locally. But then you look at our clan. Nobody's from around here. We're, we just scatter to the four wind and we hardly ever see each other. And it's just so awesome to have everybody here. Yes, and who, who was it who said yesterday that it was Dad who brought us all back together? So, was that you, Diane, who said that? Somebody I said that. I can't remember anything. I, I, I can't remember anything. But it, it, it's just really special to have everybody here. And when are we all going to be together again? Right. You know? So uh, Dad has left us some amazing legacy, which I want everybody to take some of it with them. <laughs> you don't want to repackage it. I, 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 I've got only so much room in my house, so take, take some with you. But it, it tells us a bit about who he is and who he was and, and what lasts. So, so that's special. Um, so Pastor Joe here from Avon Valley Baptist is going to say a few things. And then after that, if anybody wants to stand up and take the talking stick and... <laughs> and say something, or we can just mix and mingle, whatever works. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to pray for us in a second, but I wanted to read from Ecclesiastes, probably the, uh, some have said the most modern of the books of the Old Testament, um, written about Solomon's life and a reflection on his life. So as we open it up in a moment for folks to share about Ted and share about his life, uh, this is about 3,000 years old, sharing about reflections on life. So you'll probably, some of you recognize these words. They were in a famous song. Um, so Ecclesiastes chapter 3, there's a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones, and a time to gather them, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to search, and a time to give up, a time to keep, and a time to throw away, a time to tear, and a time to mend, a time to be silent, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, and a time for war, and a time for peace. You may not know what Solomon said just after that. He said in verse 9, What do workers gain from their toil? I've seen the burden God has laid on the human race. He's made everything beautiful in its own time. He has also set eternity in the human heart. Yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. I know that there is nothing better for people than to be happy, to do good while they live. 
that each of them may eat and drink and find satisfaction in all their toil. This is a gift of God. I know that everything God does will endure forever. Nothing can be added to it and nothing can be taken from it. God does it so that people will fear him. Whatever is has already been and what will be has been before. And God will call the past to account. Before we begin to share, let me pray for us. Lord, I thank you for this time together, for friends and family. Lord, we thank you for Ted's life and for his legacy as he leaves, uh, leaves us. Help us, Father, to, to live this life uh, in a reflective way. As we uh, remember Ted, help us to understand that, that memorial services are also for the living. As we remember them, to reflect also on a life well lived today for us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. For my brother and my sister, um, I'm not sure the, the grandkids or, any, you know, anyone, all the rest of the family will get it, but most of you, I think, will understand some of these dadisms, I call them. And this is all in love and good memories of my dad. Um, my dad did not like sleeping late, hip-hop music, or fancy restaurants. <laughs> he loved to rise at dawn, whether traveling or not, big band music, and peanut butter and jelly, or Happy Meals. <laughs> There's peanut butter and jelly here on the table. <laughs> uh, my dad did not like reading long love stories, or long church sermons, sorry, <laughs> or long phone conversations. Right, Jen? That's it. He Bye. loved science fiction, war, history books. He loved the coffee hour after church. And he loved long letters from family and friends. Uh, my dad did not go in for high fashion, yoga, or contact sports <laughs> for himself. But he loved his Christmas pants. That was yes. his fashion. He loved playing Scrabble, chess, and he, of course, loved watching football and hockey. Uh, my dad um, did not like long, drawn-out hugs. Right, Erica? I tried. I tried to. Uh, she would do that to make him uncomfortable. But he sure loved his children, grandchildren, nieces, his sister, and my mom very, very much. Now, my second item, well, I have the floor. I'll explain a little bit about the bags which Erica made. And Erica and I had long back and forths about what to put in this little memory bag. And if everybody could, not, there isn't enough for everyone, but if families can take one, that's fine. Um, there's a little, we have enough of these going around, so help yourself. You can use it as a bookmark or, or whatever you like. But it, of significance in the bag is, those of you who know Dad, <laughs> Chuckles can, you know, the jelly candies were his favorite. Chocolate chip cookies. Every time we, if we went through McDonald's line. Um, we have oatmeal raisin cookies, another favorite. And we have, <clears throat> each bag has markers in his honor oh, yes. because the markers that. were every single we never had a store-bought birthday card or greeting card of any kind it was always homemade with the markers and then of course we have some little poppy seeds if you'd like to plant it on yes. in memory these are very so, special thank you erica for putting those together somewhere somewhere we have the box that has a lot more of the seeds so if you oh, have okay. the space to plant more yes if you're a gardener. More, find them oh and that bag didn't have the apple we have the apple um, thing dad loved apple pies so we have an apple Laura Bar. Laura Bar. All right. That's my. That's, that's my, my two cents. That's it. But I will play Scrabble if anyone wants to play. Oh yes. <laughs> We would try to play Scrabble with you guys, and we would have cat. 
yeah. or and, and you guys would get like all of the consonants yeah. and then spell a word. <laughs> Soliloquy. Yes, yes. <laughs> and, oh my and. God, you're killing me. <laughs> Well, I had written a little something yesterday, but um, which is back at, in our room, but I can say that one of the things that leaps out at me about dad, I'm not thinking the dad of his 90s. I mean, dad as, as growing up, how positive, it was so funny. Um, somebody who went through, like a lot of our, all our parents, you know, went through the World War II era and all the crazy stuff that was happening in the 50s and 60s, and dad would, we just find the absolute positive. You bring home a little, you know, second grade level or fourth grade level homework paper, and he'd say, "That is the best spelling." <laughs> Ted, does that sound like him? Yeah. Ted Hudson was just a positive. You know, he never said you could have done better. He never heard that. Yeah. You could have done better. You bring home uh, the silliest little. When I think back, and of course our mom boxed and saved every homework paper we ever did from age five on, which I received in my college years or something. I received this giant boxes of every little with the word Ginny and with the big font. I still in your attic. Did you? Yeah, and, and the, they're boxed up, and so you understand where I got it. This great grandfather gave me this, save everything. But the dad was just so, he was so cute. And you drew a picture. Tim would bring home an artwork from art class in second grade. Danny brought home something in second grade, third grade. So that is the best picture of a Trump I have ever seen. <laughs> so, so dad's positive attitude really helped. You know, some families probably said, you know, what are you doing here? Get out of my way, kid. <laughs> the dad was very, very positive to all of us. And those around him, too. So. Please do look through these book, you know, photo albums and the different thing, cartoons that Dad drew. We brought all of that for you to look at and, you know, get to take with you and take my with you. Journey. Take it with you. If, if, I, with if you. I box it and would you ship it to me from here? Sure. I don't think I could get yeah, it to a bag of mail. But yeah. what? Everything? No, some. Oh, you know, yeah. I'll, I'll put things in a box. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd like to hear from Diane. I'd like to hear from Diane. Do you have anything you want to add, Diane? Please do. Uh, I knew him from birth. <laughs> he named me Diane. He named you. He named After, you. Uh -huh. Oh. And so I am a goddess. Oh, I think it's a goddess. <laughs> goddess yeah. is also at work, so that was. <laughs> but because uh, mother, uh, he did Diane, mother did my middle name, Elizabeth, and my father, Hudson. And then daddy said, well, I was. Anyway, I wasn't Christian, and this was interesting. So I'm Christian with my Elizabeth and Diane from being a goddess. Oh, so I've see. always had that complex. Oh, of goodness. Being a goddess. <laughs> but he was always there, and he always, when I was away or he was away, he would write me. And, and I, when he was in school, I sent him a postcard, and I didn't have a stamp. So I drew a stamp, <laughs> and it go? got to him. Oh uh, this is in the olden days, Kitty. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, you know, uh, so we were corresponding <laughs> when I was writing my letters that big. And uh, he was just always an inspiration. And then he and Pam got engaged. And then he and Pam invited me to be in their wedding. <sighs> And I was like 15 and knocked my socks off. And so that was fun. And I got out of school to go to come up to the way. And uh, he's just always been. And when I was in uh, school and he appeared in his Navy Whites, I became very popular. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, who's the so uh, you know, we just, and then we'd come up here and we'd go canoeing. And someone mm -hmm. just fell out of the yep. and, uh, My specialty. Every time we came up, he made sure that the girls and I were taken on a trip. So we've been on, up in the mountains and we've gone, you know, all over. And it's just he and Pam always were so gracious and very warm and yes. very, very warm family and very open. And the letter writing. 
It reminds me of the letter right. Oh, does dad love to put something in the mail? Oh, or get something. Thank goodness. Mm -hmm. the, the year or so we lived in the Philippines, where, and this is before the internet and before cell phones, dad must have written a letter every other day. Wow. We would get stacks of mail and describing just, and that's what I mean, like, like this thing about, this is the nicest thing I've ever seen. He would write just about, oh, the mailman came at 11.20 this morning, and I went down to the grocery store, and I picked up a bag of apples. But it, it was exciting and thrilling, and he, but long letters, two-page letters every couple of days. She still writes letters like that, too. Yeah. So the two of them would oh, write, yeah. oh, I went to the grocery store this morning, and he would write, oh, I went to the grocery store this morning, and yes, so. It's a family thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, we have good food for everybody, so it's not be shy. Yes, help yourself. Eat. 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 You all too skinny. <laughs> New East Lime, the Ben Phelps, 12 kids. They grew up in East Lime. They went to yep. East Lime High School. Went to Niantic. Yep. I think he went to New London. They didn't have East Lime High School. Don't get sister went to, to the New London High School too. Yeah. 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 Where am I going? Over here. Yeah, where is he? Oh, he ran down the left one from the left. We lost somebody. We're not going to that door right over there. Is he in his room? His room's on the floor, right? Yeah, that's right. Should I just write down the hallway? Yeah. Tim's here. When he comes, well, he'll surprise. Tim, can you hear him? Daniel. Surprise. Does anyone know what room it is? Tim's for everybody. Hallelujah. Oh, Tim's fine. Thank you so much. Thank you.